Hello, everybody. How you doing, everybody? Hold on. Let me get my proper. There we go. Hello. And today we are reacting for the first time in history to a video. But this is going to be the first time reacting to myself. Well, this is the first video I ever upload on this channel. It's not the first in history of mine because I had a channel, but. Because there was a virus on the channel before this one, I had to delete permanently on the previous one. So yeah, it kind of explains why I don't talk about it. You can still check it out, but it's just I ain't, ain't gonna be there to talk to you guys over there. So it's best for you to be over here on one of my oh, one of my other channels, which is second, third, and fourth. So yeah. Anyways. I'm going to also give you uh, what has changed and what hasn't. And I'm going to explain anything that are questionable here. So, other than that, I just react to the first video I ever uploaded in, on this channel. Back then, I didn't have a mic. Or didn't know when to. And this was the only the first time I ever made one. But this was probably the only time I ever did a video like this. And this is Draw My Life, which is mine. So. And this starts, yeah, and start, let's, I um, don't remember exactly. Yeah, um, when I was born, before, way before I opened up and came out of the closet, um, I was just a boy. And here's something that any people claim long eyelashes are girls and smaller ones are males. What the bullcrap, please? <laughs> because that ain't true. Trust me. When I was born, Um, I am 21, so yeah, this is about like way more years ago than it seems. Um, let's just say my parents' friends thought I was a female because of my eyelashes. And then my, my parent explained and the, the friends of hers was speechless. I'm not going to suppose their name because why would I want to let them know about the name instantly? That would be weird. It's like, I'm not popular yet. And then I already closed it. Not, not great that look for me, you know. Um, also, keep this in mind, I was the first child that wasn't um, but during pregnancy of my mother, so how was the first child who was born? Not the first child in general, but just the first child who didn't die, so. And let's move on. Yep, and strangest thing is a lot of people claim also if you're pregnant and you're craving sweets, it's a girl. I was craving sweets when I wasn't born yet. And I wasn't a girl back then. At all. Like seriously. And yeah. Pretty much me and my sibling. Both would have like. Me like debunked that, those. Like stereotype things. Because that ain't true. And then. Also there are people who claim like. If you're craving Salty, it's a guy. Me more. Yeah, right. It's not like there are going to be females out there that, are, that were craving sodium. Fries and sweets. Totally not. Totally. <laughs> uh, sometimes they were idiots. Probably not for good reason, so. And other than my weird analysis, like the first one, let's just move on, okay? And, yep, 
back when I was in open. A lot of people, this is the second reason why I did put this there is people back then, back when I used to go by just he, him, his pronouns. Um, well, back then I was just, uh, just he, him, his pronouns. And some, and a lot of people think I'm a female back then. I mean, now I prefer being female and male. But back then, back when I was in the opening, came out, thing came out closet. Um, I was just prefer male. So back then, so as the context of this, I have and then there's a symbol. Um. Yep, of course it was a smile, of course. Oh, that is, yeah. That's when my sibling was born. And that's me right down there. <laughs> and yeah, then right so much and should appreciate my sibling. Yeah, so in case you didn't see the word yay there, then yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm texting that. I know a lot of people are like, why did you put yourself in pink? I like pink, honestly. Honestly, I like pink. In 2006 was when my parents got divorced and my mom got harvested in full custody of me and my younger sibling. So, which is I was three years old when it happened. And trust me, my mom is one of those, and she would rather appreciate. But I'm not gonna like talk about her a lot. So yeah, which is me, my grandparents, uh, my mom's, my mom and my younger sibling. My younger sibling was just two when that happened, so, and I had no idea until the I was a teen, so didn't even know about him. Yep, and there's the reveal what my younger siblings' pronouns are. Yep. Um, back then, my parent figure was my grandparents back then. My mother was busy with work and stuff, so. Yeah, and, and sometimes she is there. And yeah, that's when I was younger, so. And this was when I was about between four and five, was when my tonsils were moved. The doctor said it was the most painful thing for I heard from my mom. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna like explain too much. Plus, I don't even know what the doctor's name was, so... Good old to me if you're not saying that. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> that was Sarah Franks there. And then, 2013, when I was 10 years old, it was uh, my grandfather passed away. And that was hard for me to cry, but I can tell you on yesterday I'm crying, so I hope hopefully that helps make it up for how many times I have it to cry recently. Um, it was all of a sudden out of nowhere. Ain't gonna disclose how, but. It was pretty much my mom was my father figure now, and my grandmother was my mother figure, and, and still is up to this current day still, so. And it was them, you know? And it was just me and my brother, so. I'm not gonna like, I'm not going to expose their names because that would be, that'd be too early for me, way too early for me to tell the names. So. 
Just trying to respect everybody. The reason why I used to all like Chris Frey from five members to about four. You guys watch us that stuff. And then what's next? Um the event. This was probably like nine days before my thirteenth birthday at the time, so um, it was about 10 p.m. I remember sleeping and I was playing a video game or was about to go to sleep. And then back then I had my three pets. Um, third key picks. Um, you can find it on the account I don't go on anymore by checking the app called like or something like that you, you'll find a pretty old one so um yeah back then it was just something else and, and that day was one keeping and then another one then at two days after um last one and some of that. The third one survived for a long name for her as much as we can. It was out of nowhere. I was only under me I was only wearing underwear at the time back when I used to just sleep on the couch and just wear only underwear. So now I'll just sleep on the couch with clothes on. I know it's weird for Someone who someone was a preteen at the time, so. But I learned it from. Me, yeah, I did get inspired to sleep on couch by my grandfather, so. Yeah. Kind of science sounds weird, but it is what it is. Back then, I didn't even know what YouTube videos were. Or YouTube until while I was in middle school, so. Or later on. Reason why you saw the flames with um, House. So. And then. Yeah. And then hit puberty, even though I did turn 13 on my 13th birthday. I didn't hit puberty until I was 16. So yeah, my, my puberty was pretty long. Say for someone my gender back then. Yeah, it is pretty long. Mine was pretty late. Um, I'll explain much deeper things another time. When I was focused on the video itself. And then next time you want me to like explain why I said I didn't hear puberty, though I turned 13 at the time. I will make a video, but just be prepared to get tissue and stuff. I understand that it is just no joke when I make them, okay? No cap. Um, when was this? Oh yeah, um, back back then when I was in teen, I used to be into TikTok. I'm not into it anymore. In fact, I hated it now. So back then, I used to go under the name Musically, and it was the first time I ever did short videos on it. So me on any platform. And uh, yeah, certainly now I know I'm just gonna be more dangerous. So. But luckily, I'm not in danger myself, so. Anyways, 8th grade was... That was when I was in choir. And I didn't even know I was a baritone until 8th grade. And I was actually... One of the few that actually was with uh, one of their two grades younger. Not two grades under, two grades below me. Um, how it was because of I, I really don't know. 
I really don't know why, though. And if I to be honest, I really don't know why. It is what it is, though. You know? Let's see. Oh, yeah, and then I forgot to mention the. When I was five years old, I also was introduced to video games by my mother. Not grandfather, mother. And it was Wizard 101. And she was great at it, honestly. I'm trying to monetize my words a bit. I think you already know what I mean. But it is what it is. Let's move on. I was just into models, so. And I did have to skip the other part because I didn't want to exclude what it was. In ninth grade, I learned a cappella, which is I was a freshman. I didn't even know a cappella at all. I saw only instruments exist back then. But now these days, I just didn't like instruments much. And back then, I used to like them until I was introduced to acapella music, which is. I think those who know acapella and stuff, you already know what that is. Um, in 10th grade, I was a beginner beatboxer, which is someone who is a rookie, which is someone who just started doing beatboxing. And then I did, le I did learn to s I did learn that I can do bass when I was in ninth. Me also a freshman. I learned I was able to go in a high pitch when I was in let's see eighth grade, which is in middle school. Um, seventh grade is when I learned I can sing. Or eighth grade, yeah. Um, I used to call myself the Blended Master because my bass voice would just always blend in when I listen to music with headphones on. And when it came to like reality check, a lot of people didn't like it because, well, they were hearing me mumbling or something like that for some reason. But I don't really to sing anymore in front of anybody in general. Though I could, but I wouldn't. <clears throat> mm, yeah, when I was in t sophomore year, I finally figured out what my favorite colors are, except for blue was no longer my favorite because it just got me disinterested. You know, one of those like fashion stuff. At tenth grade. How do I put words in this? I'm going to explain another time. It's just this is not really part of the video right now. So, when you have, and of course, yeah. ninth grade, which is freshman. Is when I started learning me first time I ever discover Instagram, which is I still use, but it's just for YouTube shorts pretty much often. I was introduced to Gotcha Club from a friend of my brother's, and it was well, not yet. Um, and let's see, um, my brother did introduce me to it, but he was introduced by his friends, so, yeah. 11th grade, yeah, my mom saw me had the app, so I would the app. And then we made one last video, then I quit completely. Ninth grade, also I started playing Roblox, 
back then I was just, used to be good with, or kind of good with, with shooting games on Roblox on computers, but now I just really slumpy. Um, tenth grade was when I ran to when I got little best friends. Not girl best friends, just a couple. Um, and back then I didn't call them best, you know, until when I was kind of old. Around dumb enough for me to call them that. Because I just see the word bestie as best friend. So, in case you want to know that. Um, yeah. Before, I mean, two days before 10th grade, I'm to, nah, I'm just going to skip it for now. Yep. It started in quarantine when I, it was during my junior year. Um, when the virus was around, so. Um, 12th grade, which is senior year. I was great. I learned I can voice act, even if it don't look it, but I can. Um, um, while in quarantine, I because I was I was we were my family was in quarantine. I introduced my mom and my brother back to the game, you know, I got burnt down on the wizard, and yeah, my family got burnt down part, yeah, these days, but back then, it was a nice change of pace, because me and my brother never had any actual family time, rather than with cousins, pretty much. Um, okay. Um, me and my brother are actually part one on one testers back when it was released for our testing. Um, I had an tonal infection out of nowhere from February to June. Well, July, I got a surgery. I think. Yeah, I think so. And it was like about a like few months before my condition that was a big wake up call for me. So, yeah, it's something. So, yeah, it's something. Mm. Yeah, but then between October and December, when I can recall, I got condition out of nowhere. Even though my mom recalls it was just September, but there was no issue with me at the time, so. Um, I had me in hospital um, a few months after, or it's after I couldn't handle the pain anymore. I was going through a lot of pain and was able to like, keep up until about July, which is, you can find that out on my Instagram, um, the old... Um, the old Instagram. Again, I'm still out. I may want to access it now, but back then I couldn't. Um, yeah, puberty finally hit when I was 17. Um, or at least I think so. Um, which is... Or, yeah... Puberty had when my skin condition was there, even though it was usually an impurity, but I think it was when I was 16 is when it started, in general, but it could be 17 because, you know, puberty stuff. And the surgery was also in 2021. Um, it was, I uh, did debris the armpits.
because they were so the I don't want to say the words because it would just be gross. So yeah, let's move on. Twenty two is when I finally came out the closet. Yeah, and yeah, I'm I'm glad I um, opened in game out of the closet now because because when I was in high school it was probably my worst years I ever had because myself was just nothing else. So yeah, uh, which is I was bisexual. Um, and then later on, I opened me came out as also polyamorous, and then gender fluid, I think, because as soon me because at some well at some point, I really there were times I didn't like being called he, he, him, his, not the other word. Yeah, the reason why I put the other is I feel like a lady. Uh, yeah. That one is cap, by the way. That one sentence, yeah. My mom's not a helicopter mom. It was my brain process at the time I did this, so. And it was a year ago, so yeah, I changed over time, so that's the only thing I can debunk myself. What is wrong with you, me, t a couple years ago? <laughs> um. Became a strategist, and well, at least for Wizard World One in 2022. After I got used to like one school, became part of the LGBTQ community when I opened up as bisexual. So. And then, um, this is a big secret. I do have one now. I have a couple, but I'm only, you know, who my second one is. Um, it's already in the videos. You know, just had to find them. Find out who. Anyways, that was it. See it. Anyways, if you want me to analyze more or make more videos of reacting to stuff, and by the way, you can check the, um, this video by going to the oldest video. Um, if you are checking this video, comment down below, girl, but instead of the I, just place it with you. And if you're checking my first video in, his, in this channel's history, um, comment down. Hey. Hi, I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I don't know why that, but anyways, have a great day, guys.